Hey guys, as you may already know, Sephora is going to be opening its big, beautiful doors for us over here in Sydney this Friday, the 5th of December. So in anticipation for this truly remarkable event, I thought I'd review for you some products by Bite Beauty. So what Bite Beauty is, is it's a company that creates natural and food grade lipsticks. So what this means is you can eat these lipsticks and they won't do your body any harm because apparently women can eat anywhere between four to seven pounds of lipstick in a lifetime and that is one heck of a lot of lipstick so I'd like to think that some of it is not going to be doing my body any damage. Anyway, enough of that sciencey stuff, let's talk about the products themselves. So I do own quite a few of their products. These are the packages for their cashmere lip creams. I also have some of their luminous cream lipsticks and matte cream lipstick and I also have a couple of their natural high pigment pencils. One of these pencils is also limited edition so it came with this really cute um, golden lip sticker on it that says limited edition. It's so pretty. It makes it look super special. Another great thing about their products is all of their packaging is 100% recyclable so it's environmentally friendly as well. Now let's talk about the products themselves. I'm actually going to group the lipsticks with the lip pencils together because I find that the formula of them is quite similar. They're all super creamy, really hydrating, lightweight and very, very pigmented. Now I'm just going to show you what the pigment's like. So this is the lip uh, pencil and it's super pigmented it's pretty crazy I'm trying to be gentle with these because as you can see um, the slightest bit of pressure makes them get out of shape because they are so soft most likely because they are um, that natural food grade so they're super soft and I find they melt really easily as well so I don't use these lipsticks on hot days at all um, this is the lipstick. You can see the difference between the lipstick and the lip pencil is virtually non-existent. They are very, very similar. They're all really creamy, really um, pigmented and super soft. I do find that these break down really quickly though because they are food grade. So they last anywhere between three to four hours on my lips before I do have to reapply them. They're also not transfer resistant. They transfer really easily actually, um, which may be a bad thing if you're looking for longevity and transfer resistance in your lipsticks but if you're one that doesn't care about that then these lipsticks are really definitely good to check out now onto their um, what are these called cashmere lip creams these are really awesome they're super pigmented as well let me show you a swatch just here really pigmented and really smooth and they're very matte as well now with these cashmere lip creams, I find that they last a lot longer on my lips than with the creamier lip pencils and lipsticks. I find that these last anywhere between 6 to 8 hours on my lips if I'm not eating or drinking um, because they are a dry, like liquid to dry formula. So these do last quite well, however they are not transfer resistant either. These do transfer but not as badly as the lipstick and lip pencils. Um, as to which ones I would recommend from the lot, I would definitely say I prefer the cashmere lip creams only because I like longevity in my lipsticks but when I am looking for a more hydrating lightweight lipstick and I don't really care about having to touch up then I definitely reach for these. I've actually had these for quite some time so I've had a lot of playtime with them and I do have to say I do reach for them quite often despite the fact they don't last very long because they are so comfortable to wear and because I like knowing in the back of my my mind that if I do eat these they are not going to harm me in any way um, not that I literally eat lipstick but if I am eating and it gets in my mouth or something I know that they're not going to harm me not that that would hold me back from buying any other lipsticks in general but it is good to know that at the back of my head I don't know it might be some sort of psychology thing I'm not too sure but I do really love the concept of these lipsticks and I love these lipsticks as well anyway enough chitter chatter let's get to the swatches
guys so that is it for my video today if you haven't checked out bite beauty definitely check out their products at sephora i think you will fall in love especially if you're into more of those natural products anyway thank you so much for watching guys and i will speak to you soon bye